guys, Kyle from Overland Truck Store. Just here to talk about our 93 Land Cruiser Prado. It's another one of these imported Land Cruisers from Japan. This one's the light duty series, so it comes with the four cylinder turbo diesel. Surprisingly, it's a pretty torquey little motor. Toyota put that motor in a whole bunch of different vehicles in this year range. Parts are not too bad on this thing, but once again, this is something over the last year or so, just getting it together. Timing belt, water pump, all the maintenance stuff we've done on the motor, valve cover gaskets, kind of went through the whole drivetrain, anything that's leaking oil. It's coastal off-road bumper kit up front. Obviously over here, not a lot of companies make a production of bumpers. Vancouver, BC, and they make some sweet bumper kits that we weld together. And these come in aluminum or steel. As of right now, it's just got a two inch Ironman 4x4 foam cell lift on it and basically updated as much of the suspension components as we could for right now. It's got new radius arms on it, bushings throughout, all the suspension components, um, tie rods, ball joints, all that good stuff. Some of it is the same as an 80 series or similar to an 80 series front axle on these. It's almost like an 80 series, but shrunk down. So we've been able to like interchange parts um, off of some other vehicles. Wheels and tires, obviously black Rhino, axle wheels on them, Falcon 33, mud terrains. These do have bigger Land Cruiser hubs on them, also kind of like the 80s and 60s. So these ones we also had to bore out the center hole to make the wheels fit. Just with these wheels, I've, there's other wheels that will fit, but these looked cool on this thing, so we had to make it had to make it work. My favorite part is that it says turbo in the headrest. Cause you know, you gotta let people know you got a turbo. Um, the biggest mod we've done in this thing, obviously the GMRS radio. Cause <laughs> why not? It's got a turbo timer on it, which is kind of nice, but it's also a pain in the ass cause if you forget about it, and you walk away and you're like, why is this thing running still? And it's, oh, let's go in there and turn it off. You know, we're not gonna do anything over the top with it. More of kind of a weakender overland build on this one. It being the little four cylinder turbo diesel, like it's really good gas mileage in this truck so it's kind of a good rig to go far out on because you have a pretty good range even with that little motor so the plan is it's kind of doing kind of your basic setup we're gonna do a, a roof rack on it probably do a rooftop tent creature comfort stuff having a fridge probably do a red arc system in it with an inverter so we can you know have power at all times not gonna be anything uh, over the top like the other Land Cruiser yeah probably do some more armor on this thing too um, rear bumper, rock sliders. That's about all I have to say about this Land Cruiser here. If you have any other type of four wheel drive or two wheel drive, we do those too. And you're looking at lifting it, outfitting it in any fashion, uh, give us a call Overland Truck Store Garage uh, or look us up on overlandtruckstoregarage.com. Talk with one of us and we'll help you out. Action. So. That's about all we got. Oh God. Oh, son do. of a If you have anything similar like this, if you like, if you like Land Cruisers. Oh, okay, round two. <laughs> well, that's about it on this one for right now. Um, and that's all folks. God. <laughs> 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 <laughs>